Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the smallest, lightest, best price couples travel trailer you can buy for 2022. This one is even including a slide out. This is the 2022 Primetime Avenger model 17 FQS. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're giving you three things we love about the Primetime Adventurer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited. We are taking a look at the smallest, the cheapest, the best priced couple travel trailer, but that also includes a slide out this primetime avenger before i begin gotta say hi to will hey you're not will you're jen hey guys what's going on great to see you on the show again thank you for having me back um it's a sunny day here in florida i'm excited to help out take a look at this avenger and we're back at general of tampa so how's it been so far it's been great we've been loving it it's right down the road from matt's house and you know we get we get a lot of videos done so i'm having a good time you know a lot of people a lot of people are saying a lot of things but the fact is for ocala and tampa to be so close to my house yep. that's a big factor in it and the best price in america wait till you see this msrp yes. gen let's begin model is primetime avenger 17 fqs the actual tip to tip length is 21 feet 7 inches the dry weight is 3,452 pounds. The hitch weight is 355 pounds. Extremely lightweight, extremely doable, extremely great price point. Jen, right up here, right off the bat, manual tongue jack right here. Very nice to get on and off the truck. Um, I don't know why I said very nice. Right. That's not it's something not I, very nice. I, yeah, no, I, I, I'm camping. I very don't nice do... if you, you know, want to work out. Right, right. Propane tank goes here. This is just a single propane tank. Okay, batteries go here. Now, Jen, right up here, this is uh, the Primetime Avenger. This is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. That's what helped. We call these stick and tins. That's what makes them so, so lightweight and everything. Something that I do like, the front right here is smooth. Where when you look at this one, you see how that's still yeah. jagged. Yep. Um, I just think it looks good. No, no one's better than the other. Right over here. We do have a little bit of storage underneath there. Awesome. Manual stabilizing jack right there. Nice little power awning with LED lights. And then Jen, look at these steps. Mm. These are the black fold up steps. You guys know we don't like these. We always want the solid steps, but uh, at least the aluminum ones. And then coming on over here, again, the power awning with LED lights, nice grab handle. And then Jen, look at this. Psh, America, America, John Cena! Oh. Yes, yes, you got a beer opener for the outside, hanging up, going on the inside, I love that. Nice six gallon water heater right there. Potable water fill tank, potable, potable. Right here you have power if you have like a golf cart that you want to plug in. And then look at these tire Jen, it's the Castle Rock, I love that. Not those. I love that. ST225-75R15. Very nice. Single axle trailer. Jen, it's been a long time since we've done a single axle trailer, huh? I know. And then coming on down here, this is a place for you to leash up your puppers. Nice. And then coming around the back, we do have a nice spare tire. Spare tire carrier. Outdoor shower right here. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And then right there, that is your spare tire. It is also a Castle Rock. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. And then coming all around, right there, that's where you dump your tanks. You got your 30 amp service there, city water connection. Here's your cable hookup. You can see the other manual stabilizing jack. Nice slide out. This is the Schwintech slide out system right there. And then coming on through here, Jen, we're going to wrap it on up right here with the other side of that storage. Sorry about that, America. Okay. <laughs> Jen, short and sweet, really small travel trailer on the outside. The inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Is it hard skipping with that ankle? Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> All right. America. America. Yeah, going inside. Cool. All right, up here we got the bed in the front. 
dinette over here, your kitchen, and then you have the bathroom in the very back. All right, Jen, we're gonna start up front here. First, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then, there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back, so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. All right, Jen, up front here in the front bedroom area, nice permanent bed. You know, so many people like the Murphy beds and I like the Murphy beds too, but also at the same time, I do love and respect the permanent bed. You not, got no folding, you got no part mattress. It's the full mattress the way it is at all times. Right here, we do have very nice storage mm -hmm. above there. What about on that other side? Nice up here as well. Yes, ma'am. And again, ton of head space in here. The mental space, uh, and I know that's probably the wrong thing I'm saying, but the mental visibility, yeah. I feel like I'm not enclosed. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got storage over there, storage over there. Looks like, I was wondering though, is it a door? No, I don't think it's a door. Well then, I don't think there is storage. Well, I'm not storage. Storage top, not right. storage. I, I, I was just wondering if you could. Put I did the... say storage. I meant like a place where you like yeah. put your phone or a CPAP a machine. Nice Queen size bed here, and then I do know we have storage underneath here. Very nice. Very big, and that does connect to the storage on the pass through over there. Yep. And then over here, Jen, we do have a nice dinette. Check out this balance. Approved, bing! Oh, that's the Gen Balance approval. Nice big window here, no side windows, but okay, it's a small trailer. Uh, this is a two-seater dinette, good, because it's a couple's trailer. It does drop down to make a bed. And there is storage underneath the dinette. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. It's not supposed to come up like that. Yeah, I think I it's just wondering. caught on something. Yeah. But still, that would have been nice if it was supposed to come up like that. But very nice storage right there as well. Then over here is going to be your TV entertainment center. No TV, price point unit, power and USB everywhere, which is very nice for a small trailer like this. And then you have storage there. Very nice. nice single AC unit, non-ducted, um, just full dump mode at all times. Well, Jen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. You ready for this, Jen? I'm ready. MSRP. Oh. On this unit here is $27,543. Jen, MSRP. That's stock number 276018. Um, we don't have a sale price on this one, but we do have one in Huntley, Illinois, and we have these nationwide. Uh, and the one in Huntley, Illinois, MSRP is at $27,086. So maybe a little bit of variation, but definitely not much. Jen, that one is discounted 26% off to $19,999. Wow. $19, and Jen, it doesn't matter if you want this one or that one. We have partnered again with General RV to help people get the absolute best price in America. So if you're interested in this trailer or any trailer, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. Or if you can't find it, we've linked it on our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Or call 844-969-4033. Guys, General has put together a team for us to make sure that we get everybody the best deal in America. And right now, especially on 2022s, guys, there's a reason why we're showing you 2022s. They got to go. Give us a call. Make an offer. We're here to get you a best price. That's right. Jen, show us this kitchen. All right, guys. So they got like the little textured glass. Okay. Storage up there. 
Got a nice window here at your sink. One bowl sink, kind of small, but you know, not bad for this size trailer. Yes. Then we have some storage down here. Okay. Very nice. Up here we got a nice Furion regular microwave. Yes, ma'am. We're on hood range. Hood range. And then a two burner suburban cooktop. Okay. A little drawer, a drawer there. Yeah, no backsplash or nothing. Yeah, it's pretty simple. And then we have an Everchill, is this a compressor fridge? Sure is, Jen. And it is Very chilled nice. forever. Feels good, actually. It sure does. All right. Miss, 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 Miss Will, not Junior, what would it call her? Because you're Will's wife. Mrs. Knowles. Mrs. Knowles. Please step in that shower. All right. Please do the honor. The honor. The shower time's honor. Mm. Mm. It's, it's hard when I do it, guys, because it's just it's, I'm not I'm not repping for the tall people, but I would say that this isn't bad for this size. Not not at all. Trailer, not for this size at all. But I still think he wouldn't pass it because I think his head would be okay. In here. Maybe if this was in the middle. Yeah, still, but still, I think his head would be up in here. Okay, so it doesn't pass the well shower test. It but doesn't. Have you photoshopped your face on his? I have. So does it pass your shower test? I think it does. That is the Gen Shower Test Seal of Approval. And I will never be able to look at that sticker again. <laughs> right over here, Jen, we have tons of like towel storage. Nice. Nice sink right here. Good placement. Like lots of like space over here. Mm -hmm. um, right there, we have a little bit of storage. And then Miss Jen, Mrs. Knowles. Miss Will. Mrs. Will. Oh, wow. oh, Mr. Will. <laughs> this is not good at all. It's not great. Oh, I thought you were good. No, don't. Said. No. <laughs> I said this is not good at all. No, this I mean. This is great. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is plastic. This is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. It's a doable poopable. It's doable poopable, and you can always swap this out for a porcelain toilet. And again, it's phenomenal space. Yeah. Beth, you know what? I'm going to talk about it in just a few moments. But Jen, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. Small travel trailer. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we like and three things we don't like. Jen, what do we do first? Let's do our dislikes first. Okay, I actually have two on the outside. Jen, dislike number one, right off the bat, the very first thing we see with the trailer. Uh, I said it was very nice, but you guys know I don't like manual tongue jacks. Well, actually, look at that destination model. I don't mind a manual tongue jack there. If I'm you, never moving it. Correct. Yeah. But this unit, you're moving and grooving. Give me a power tongue jack. Yep. That is dislike number one. Jen, dislike number two. The black steps. We said it earlier. We'll say it again. Hate these black steps. They always look the worst. I don't mind if it's not solid steps on a unit like this, but give me the aluminum ones. Yep. Jen, that's dislike number two. Do you have a dislike number three? All right, my number three dislike. I know Matt mentioned that sometimes it's nice having the bed that's, you know, you don't have to flip up, which I agree, but I do miss the fact that you don't have a sofa in here. Wow. You know? So you're going to just take I'm what just... I like and just. Like That's throw, what I usually try to throw do. it in my face. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. No, I don't mind. I mean, I would say with this kind of trailer, you're probably sitting outside most of the time, anyways. But I do miss that there is no like couch area. Okay, to Jen. Hang out. Jen, that's your opinion, and and everybody's and entitled it. to it. <laughs> that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. And you ready for me to go first? Don't do it. I wasn't going to, but because you did, Jen, <laughs> I love the permanent bed structure. I think it's nice. One thing that I really do love about it that I did mention earlier, Jen, this all this empty space yeah. makes this tiny travel trailer feel big and spacious. And you know what, Murphy? Murphy. You don't get that when you get the Murphy bed. <laughs> it feels smaller and closed and everything. But again, different strokes for different folks. I, I do like both of them. But again, that's one of the big pluses about this travel trailer. Yep. Jen, that's like number one. What's like number two? Like number two, I'm going to say this bathroom. Mmm, you but stole I, mine. I know. I it's knew, okay. I didn't. I couldn't think of another one off the top of my head. This is a really good bathroom, I think. Amazing size. size. Yeah, really spacious. I like that it, it's not a big step up into the shower. Yep. And obviously, it's not super tall, but it's still a nice shower for the size and lots of storage and everything. They did a fantastic job with that, absolutely. And again, you can always switch out the toilet for a porcelain. Yep. 
And then Jen, number three, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna say this refrigerator size. I love this compressor fridge. I love the size. I love the style. Jen, at the end of the day, this unit is designed to be the absolute best price. So for them, and they're putting these in normal RVs. So mm -hmm. for them to do this is really, really nice. Yep. Well, Jen, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this unit, please go to, we've partnered again with General RV. Go to generalrv.com backslash Matt's Cash. We've linked the website down below. You can also get there from our website, mattsrvreviews.com, or call 844-969-4033. Again, the one in Iowa or in Illinois or whatever store, that one's $19,999. Doesn't mean this one's going to be that price, but here's what I do know. When you contact General RV, my team is here to help you guys get the best price in America, not just on this unit, but any travel trailer, fifth wheel, toy hauler, or motorhome. Jen, what do you want to say? Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I enjoyed getting to look at this Avenger. This, I think it's a nice travel trailer, good price point, um, you know, good layout and everything inside. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you haven't already to hit the like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Jen, we'll, we'll see you next time.